Questions that deal with permutation and com combinations are usually question types that people struggle with a lot. Um, I'm just going to first give you the equation for permutation and combination and then we can discuss them. We have n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. For combination it looks almost exactly alike except we have an extra r factorial on the bottom where n is the total number of things that you have and r is number of things that are chosen. So let's first define what permutation and combination are, or at least let's distinguish between the two. Permutation is when you're choosing something in order does matter. Combination is when you're choosing a group of things and when order does not matter. So keywords associated with permutation are arranged, order, and for combination, we're looking for words like grouped, or not in order. So whenever you see these keywords, you should be thinking one or the other. Now, just to give you an example, let's say I have four spaces on the wall to put up posters. So four spaces on the wall. And let's say I have seven posters total that I can choose from. I want to see in how many different ways can I arrange my seven posters. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is does order matter or does it not matter? Since I'm asking how many ways that we can arrange these seven posters, order does definitely matter. So we are going to use the permutation equation. How this works is n is again the total number of things we have. In this case I have seven total posters r would be the total number of posters I end up choosing. In this case, we only have four spaces on the wall, so I end up choosing only four posters. And so we get seven factorial divided by three factorial. Now, just as an aside, if you've never seen this factorial or you're wondering what this exclamation sign looks like or what that actually means, um, to give you an example, if I have five factorial, this would equal 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so if in this case we have 7 factorial, that would be 7 times 6 times 5 times 3 times 2 times 1. So basically this exclamation just means whatever number comes before it, it would be that number times every consecutively smaller integer or whole number all the way down to 1. So this would be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that would be divided by 3 times 2 times 1. These would cancel out nicely, and we're left with 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. And if we wanted an actual answer for that, uh, that would be 840. which is quite a bit, right? That means we have 840 different total ways to put seven posters on the wall if we only had four spaces or four different choices to put up. Now, we'll let's go and talk about combinations. Let's say we still have four spaces on the wall and seven posters. Another way that I could ask this question is, in how many groups can I put up these posters? So just to illustrate this difference, I'm going to call poster 1A, B, number 2, C, 3, 4, or, I'm sorry, 3C, D would be 4, next E, F, and G. So these are my posters 1 through 7. In my original equation, I wanted to know how many different ways I can arrange them. So if I did A first, B second, C, then D, and let's say in a different arrangement I had A, C, B, D, I used the same exact posters, but they're arranged in a different order. And that's why we said that order does in fact matter for that first question, and that's why we use permutation. Because even if we use the same choices, 
order definitely matters because A, B, C, D is not the same thing as A, C, D, B, D. However, in the second question that I asked you, how many different ways can we simply group these seven posters in groups of four? If I made this as one group, can I make this as a separate, completely different group? In this case, the answer would be no, right? Because it doesn't matter in what order they go. A, B, C, D makes one group, and we have the same letters for that same group. They make exactly the same group. So in this case, we would have to use the combination equation. So again, the question would be, we have seven posters total, four spaces on the wall. I want to know how many different ways to group them. So to group the seven posters in groups of four. So n again would be seven. Our r value would be four because that's the number again that we're choosing. And then in the inside of the parentheses, we have again seven minus four factorial. So we have seven factorial divided by four factorial times three factorial. That would equal seven times six times five times four times three times two times one divided by four times three times two times one times three times two times one. So again, these cancel out nicely. This four cancels out. Can cancel those out, and now we have substantially fewer ways to group those seven posters in groups of four and we'd only have 35. Hopefully this all made sense to you. Make sure you understand the difference between permutation and combination. The key difference again is that permutation means order does matter and the keywords in the question you're looking for is order or arranged. Next combination questions. This is when order does not matter and for these types of questions you'll be asked to group things or when they are not necessarily needed to be put in order.